Good morning, everyone, and thanks for tuning in. My name is Michaela Geis. I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado, just a little bit north of Denver. This morning, I'm going to be taking you guys through a brand new 2024 Cimarron Northstar two horse bumper pull. I know it looks a little bit different. We kind of got those livestock slats going on on our hip side here, but we'll get to that a little bit later. We're going to start right up here at the front tack on this guy. So this one is going to be one of our standard loaded up front tacks. I really like how they design these. They're super user friendly, lots of storage options in these, and they just, they really designed these pretty well. So we're going to have our nice big 42 inch door opening typical on these Cimarron's. It's been a very popular feature. I know I've had a couple of people come on the lot and ask to see. They're like, we want one of those front tacks with that giant door. So this is your 42 inch door opening. You're gonna have your sliding bus window up on your door here for ventilation. It's gonna be your only form of ventilation in these bumper pull models. So it's really good to just have that there, especially it's gonna be right here next to your saddle pads and your saddles to kind of get the air flowing off moving through those too so it kind of pulls that smell out and then also helps dry your equipment too if it did get a little bit of moisture on that from being outside in the rain that we've been getting so much lately and then your brush tray these are my absolute favorite brush trays i love how wide they are i love how deep they are and i love that they have those separations in there so that way you can kind of stay a little bit more organized because i am a very organized person at least i like to think so and so this is one of my favorite features just Especially right now, I know I talked a lot about last time about using this for the Ganlon fly spray. I have mine and my brush box is not a Cimarron, so it's just a little bit narrower. And it's hard to get that giant gallon to squeeze down in there, especially when it's still pretty full. So I feel like it would set really well in here this time of year when we don't get the rain. Like tomorrow's going to be pretty hot and dry. There's going to be a lot of bugs. So it's nice to just have that spray right here. Spray it on your horses and keep them happy. Keep them from stomping their feet and swishing their tail too much. And then this one is your standard measurements of your seven one tall and your six ten wide. So you do have that running board on this trailer. But up here at our front tacks, we like to delete that and add a fold down step. So it makes it a lot easier to access. You can see how low it gets to the ground here. It makes it a lot easier on you guys versus having to step up on this running board. You're only stepping to this front step or this fold down step. So it drops it down quite a few inches there, makes your life easier. And then we do have a swing out saddle rack and saddle blanket bar um, all on the same post here. You guys can see it kind of helps itself come out it's on that gas shock. So it helps itself come out and then once you get it pushed back in, it'll help itself get back into and then it stays put when you're driving. So it's not going to swing around. Really nice saddle racks that Cimarron has designed. They are carpeted, so it gets it real nice and sticky. And then you have this wither block right here. It's gonna go up into the gullet of your saddle and really help it kind of lock on there and not fall off, at least as easily. Um, they have tested this product or this design here, and they actually own the extrusion to make this. So they have really done a lot of work to make sure that they have a good quality product. And then up here, you've got those blanket bars too, right here on your saddle rack post. All of these pieces here are fully adjustable. So you can slide them up and down on this post wherever you want them. So if you did want to move a couple of these down and then get these a little bit lower, you want to add in another one of these, we could do that. Add in another one of these. These are fully adjustable on this track here. So kind of lots of options. And then you guys will see with that 42 inch door opening, there's still plenty of space to get in and out of this tack. Even if you did have saddles on here, they're gonna set out a little bit further. Still gives you plenty of room to get in here and access what you need with having this stuff pulled out too. So we'll go ahead and step inside and take a look. We do like to order ours with just a little bit of extra space in this front tack. We make them a little bit longer. Really gives you guys a great size front tack on a bumper pull unit. Um, you're gonna have your matching spare tire up here mounted inside. Um, you'll see it is that black spoke aluminum wheel, which we'll see on the outside as well. So it is matching. If you do have to go ahead and throw that on, you're not going to look any different. Um, and then up above that, you're going to have a clothes bar. So we did go ahead and throw this in here as well. Um, give you guys more storage hanging options. If you were going to a horse show, a rodeo, a uh, trail ride, and you just had any extra jackets, change of clothes, show shirts, different outfits for different classes, anything like that, you can hang them up here and kind of keep your bridle hooks free. 
Um, so it gives you more hanging storage space there and then fully carpeted on the floor here. So it makes it nice if you are using this as a dressing room to go ahead and slip your shoes off and change your clothes in here and not have to worry about getting dirty. So it is really easy to clean too. You could just get a, you could use a, a broom that could work or a battery operated handheld vacuum. I have some of those or like a leaf blower, anything like that. It will clean out pretty easily. And then over here on your partition wall, you're going to have two rows of bridle hooks and behind those bridle hooks, we do that same carpeting. So what that's doing for you guys up here is it's protecting your tack, it's protecting your trailer wall, and then it's deadening the noise for your horses on the other side of this wall. So when you do hang your bridles, hang your halters, hang any other tie downs, reins, stuff like that with clips or buckles on them, bits, metal pieces, conchos, they're going to get to sway in. They're going to get to bang in once you get to drive around, hit some bumps, anything like that. They would leave black marks if this were just aluminum or white sheeting. So, and then it could also damage your tack as well. And then it's kind of loud once you do get metal on metal banging. So we just added the carpet, make it a little bit nicer for your horses over there. And then up above these hooks, you're going to notice this extra tray. We do have this tray in here because of those plexiglass slats on the side of this trailer. So we'll check those out later. But once we do, um, if you do choose to remove those and have that ventilation, they're gonna, just going to store right up in here. So really easy to store up and out of the way. Um, it's not, this is not in the way by any means. And then it keeps them organized and keeps them from getting damaged as well. So great storage for them up there. And then inside this last corner here, we do have your 25 gallon water tank. You're going to fill up at the top and then you've got your spigot down below. And then underneath that stand, you have a hose for that spigot there. So you just attach your hose there, run it right out the door, wash off your muddy boots, wash off your muddy dogs, fill up some water buckets. Maybe I clean off some tack, clean off your bit, got a little slobber on or something. It's just really great to have that water on board. Um, especially if you have picky drinkers that maybe they don't, they only like to drink the water from home. That way you can bring water from home. So just great to keep your horses hydrated, especially in this heat that we're going to start to get. And then up here above my head, sorry to make you guys come back in here, but there is an Optibright LED light. So it just is going to light up this entire front tack for you guys. Give you guys lots of visibility in here if you are saddling or unsaddling, maybe early morning at a horse show, late night at a rodeo, um, up at a trailhead and it got dark because a storm rolled in or anything like that. Just gives you guys lots of light inside of there. Go ahead and get this pushed back in. My door is on a hold back right now, so that's why it's staying open on our little bit of a slant here um, all of our doors have those hold back so if it does catch a little bit of a breeze you don't have to worry about them swinging shut on you while you're trying to use them um, i don't know if you guys could hear that or not it's kind of hard to hear but when these tack room doors are really tightly fit and they have an air seal around them so they're meant to kind of push all that air out as you shut them so i know a lot of people will struggle because they'll just kind of walk up and try and shut it and it just is meant to be slammed so we tell a lot of our customers it's okay to use two hands and kind of give them a little bit of a push there because it's gonna suck that air out and make it a nice really airtight seal for you guys so don't be concerned about that they are designed that way and then your fold down step is also on that same gas shock that we saw on our saddle rack I've had customers ask me what happens when that step doesn't stay up anymore. All you have to do is replace that gas shock. So it's one simple piece. Just gonna unscrew it and screw another one back on there so it's really easy. You don't have to take it back in. You don't have to get a whole new step. It's just one little part essentially. So really nice that you don't have to replace anything there. It's just that one piece. Up top, we have a 16 inch awning LED light right here off your front tack with your tie rings here. Um, and then below that, there's those plexiglass that we were talking about. This one, instead of doing those bus windows, we went ahead and opted for the air gaps that you see on like a stock trailer. Just kind of design them all a little bit different. Try not to have the same trailer here 10 different times. It's just something for everyone. So we went ahead and done this on this one. My personal trailer has these livestock slat sides and I think it uh, provides for really great ventilation once you do take these out. Um, and then you can put them back in in the winter to kind of act as 
closing up or you could even just remove this bottom one that's how it is on my trailer just the bottom one and then that top one is still in so you get like a 50 50. but right here Simron has this really cool design I love this part they have these cutouts right here so all you have to do is stick your fingers inside of here and just slide your plexiglass out like that so you're just gonna slide it out and stick it right in your tray up front you don't have to come back here and undo any screws take off any pieces of metal slide them the full length of your trailer all you gotta do is come to this cutout stick your fingers in there if your fingers don't work you could use like a flathead screwdriver just get you a little bit of leverage and then slide them out i think that is just such a smart design less things for us to have to carry around and worry about just use your hand grab it and stick it in your storage tray and then two tie rings for your two horse slant load trailer and then down below we're going to have two 3500 pound dexter rubber torsion axles under this guy brand new lion's head tires and then they are going to be nitrogen filled you can tell with that green cover there um, what that's going to do for you guys is just keep that air pressure from fluctuating so much it keeps them filled to a consistent level it's not going to change once you get driving down the road or set overnight or anything like that so it really reduces your risk of a blowout if something does happen you do get a one year no questions asked replacement warranty and then two years of roadside assistance with these tires um, and then you'll see those black spoke wheels matches the spare inside i think that looks really sharp gives a little bit extra pop on this white trailer with those black plexiglass windows up there so we'll step around to our loading space So up here, we're gonna have an eight inch awning LED light as your loading light. It is over your 60% door over there, which we're gonna go ahead and talk about once I get these doors closed, but we'll start inside here. You are gonna have a butt strap that goes all the way across. So if you did have a horse in this last stall that really anticipates that when you open that door, he needs to get his tail out of this trailer, you're gonna have this. So he's gonna try and back up and he's gonna hit this and then he's gonna know he's gotta stay put until you're ready for him. So that way you can get up there, get him untied. Maybe you wanna come in here with him, get him untied and then take this off and then he knows he can come out. Just a little extra safety feature there. Don't have to use it, but it is nice to have. You're gonna have three D rings in each of your stalls. So if you did choose to hang a corner feeder, you can do so. Just like to give people options. We're not gonna make a trailer that's set in stone that you guys can't change. There's a lot of people that don't like corner feeders, a lot of people that do. So you have the option if you wanna use one, but then you also have two tie rings per stall. So if you wanted to hang a hay bag or a hay net, you maybe you like to use those instead, you have that option. So you tie your horse on one ring and then tie your hay net on the other ring. That way they're not getting wound up together, but options, versatility, we really like that with these trailers. And then you're gonna have your single divider here. They are really wide here, so you don't have to worry about your horse trying to get his head over. The ones that are maybe cut a little bit shorter, just again, safety. We have designed this one without padded dividers. There's a lot of horses that will reach down and chew on those. Um, so a lot of people don't like to have it. Good thing it is really easy to go ahead and add those. We can do it right here at our shop before you pick it up. Let us know you want some padding on here and we'll go ahead and get a quote from our shop to do so it's really simple it can be done in one day so really nice to have that option as well again options we did order this trailer about two inches longer in this load space here to ensure that our divider can open all the way and lay flat against this wall without interfering with our rear doors this trailer does not have a hold back on it right now in this load space our shop can easily add one of those too if you did guys if you guys did want to have the option to clip this divider open and have it open during hauling if you wanted to haul a mare and a foal if you just had one oversized horse that you needed to get somewhere maybe you had loose livestock or you had some some ponies some smaller horses sheep goats pigs atvs you're helping a friend move you need to put a bed in here just give you guys the option of having a full open space your same setup up front with the two tie rings and three corner feet or three d rings for a corner feeder as well each of these stalls is going to have a roof vent over it so we always suggest to our customers to just push this one forward so it's going to draw your air in and then push this one open backwards so it's going to draw your air out this acts as a nice 
airflow through this trailer with your drop down windows and then if you pull out that plexiglass it just gives them a lot of ventilation in here fully kick matted around this trailer rubber floor mats on the floor on top of our aluminum floor these Simrons are 100 percent aluminum so you're just gonna have a nice full aluminum floor under here something another upgrade you could do to this guy if you wanted to would be pull out the rubber mats and do worm flooring a lot of people love the worm flooring and you don't have to worry about any shavings getting underneath these mats it just is one full permanent floor mat that's always an upgrade you could do but i think it works great just like this just clean out your trailer take care of it um but these are 100 percent aluminum trailers you are going to get an eight year structure warranty on them and three year nose to tail and everything else is a really great well-built trailer and then going back to our doors here i was going to talk about our door sizes so i'll go ahead and get this one closed for you guys that one was on a hold back because we're on this slope here but you'll notice this door is a little bit smaller than that door over there we have 60 40 doors back here on this trailer I like to make it if you are by yourself or even if you are if you do have company it's just nice convenience factor to just have to open one door and get your horse in and out one door you have the option to open both if you want to do so this is not a permanent wall here you can open that up and have it full access or you can just open the 160 percent door and get them in that way we do have a window on that door as well for even more ventilation we skipped the window on this door so that if you guys ever wanted to add one of those folding rear tacks Cimarron actually makes them and sells them as a kit that we could ship up here on one of our trailers and then have it done here at our shop for you so we can always add a folding rear tack and then that way there's no window on this trailer so it's not going to get any moisture into your tack system or your tack set up there so you do have that option as well again lots of options lots of versatility with these trailers we can do just about anything all of our light switches are right here so you're gonna have your left side your right side your loading light and your interior light go ahead and step around to our head side so kind of the same on this side you're going to have your 16 inch awning light up there with your two tie rings your same 3,500 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles, black spoke aluminum wheels. I think they look really sharp on this trailer. But over here, you're gonna have drop down windows. I really love the size of these drop down windows to begin with. I think they are really, they're huge. They're great. Gives you guys the ability to drop these down and then lock those into place. So if you did wanna leave, leave it like that as you drive down the road, you can do that and they're not gonna catch the wind and do the wave effect and then you have your jail bars up there so your horse cannot stick its head out when you drive down the road it's probably not the best thing to do it's actually kind of dangerous we don't want them to do that so we've added these jail bars to keep them inside where they belong that way we're not getting flies or bugs in their face any rocks that could jump off the road and hit them just like to keep them as safe as possible but if you are stopped somewhere and you want to check on them these jail bars do come down and then you have your window ledge here and your running board so it's really easy to just grab a hold and step up here if you need to fill your corner feeder fill a water bucket you just want to check on them make sure everything's good you can do that and then same with these windows i was talking about on that front tack door you have you really have to kind of slam them shut they are designed that way they are a very tight seal so it's okay to just grab them and put two hands pressure and give them a good slam shut each hinge on this trailer has a greaser on both sides so it makes it really nice to maintain this trailer at your house you can do it just you can tell they were greased we like to take care of these trailers even though they are brand new as soon as they get here we run through them and make sure everything's ready to rock and roll so you're just going to grease it from both sides and then you're going to want to drop your window down and kind of just push it back and forth it actually has a spiral inside of each of these tubes so when you push it back and forth it will actually move the grease all the way through that hinge for you really nice that you can do that and just maintain your trailer and then you do have bus windows on each of these drop downs so if you did not want that full ventilation 
you can just slide those open a little bit and have that minimal airflow. So we'll go ahead and work our way up front here. You'll notice that we do have our tread bright up here, it acts as a protectant for the nose of your trailer. This one is 18 inches tall. If you're ordering a trailer, we can also order them to up to 24 and 36 inches tall. But it just prevents when you do have those rocks kicking back on this trailer, keeps it a little bit nicer. That way you're not gonna get dings in your nice white paneling. It's just gonna hit up here and bounce right back off. I do have this trailer plugged in right now so you guys can see the lights. That is something a lot of people will do when they order a trailer is add a battery to it so that way they can operate their lights without being hooked up. But right now, as is, you'd have to have it plugged into your vehicle to run your lights. And then you do have a manual crank jack on this one, your two and five 16 inch ball and your safety chains on this guy. So really well set up trailer, brand new 2024 sim run. Like I said, you're gonna get your eight year structural warranty on this trailer and three year nose to tail. This one is sheeted in white, it is a two horse. I think Callie videoed the three horse earlier this week. So we do have them in different sizes. We do have them with the bus windows, with the drop down windows. We have them in different colors. So lots of options here. I keep saying options, but that's truly what Cimarron is and what their trailers are. It's just giving you guys lots to pick from and kind of build it and use it the way that you need to and what works best for you. If you are interested in this trailer specifically, each trailer is gonna have a stock number on it to reference. This one is going to be 5N230365. Again, 2024 Simran North Star two horse bumper pull. It does have a QR code on it. All these trailers, if you do decide to come walk the lot, have this QR code. Grab your phone, open up your camera, point it at that, and it's going to pop up a link. Click on that, it takes you to the webpage for this trailer. You can look at any of them that way. You can find the price that way. You can find the specs that way. Or you can just Write that stock number down and give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, and let me know what you like about it, what you'd want to change, or if you want to make it yours. So all my contact info will show up on your screen. That cell phone is 303-918-6367. Again, call or text, whatever works best, I can do both. And then my email, Michaela Peard, guys at transwest.com. Email works as well. So whatever you guys prefer, Go ahead and reach out. I'd love to help you guys out, answer any questions, and help you pick out the next trailer for you. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday. Enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in.